once your data is loaded into the operations center, you can start looking at it. First thing you need to do is navigate to the field analyzer. A couple different ways to do that. Uh, number one would be in the top left corner is your tools button. Select that and then find field analyzer there. Another way would be to open up your list of fields and finding your field and it'll take you directly to that field. Or even easier than that, you can just click on the field on the map. And that will open a window. You'll select the second icon over, which is Field Analyzer, and it's going to open up Field Analyzer. This is going to show you the most recent operation that was done in this field. So the last thing that was recorded in this field looks like soybean seeding in 2016. We'll go ahead and select this first drop-down menu, and you can see any operation that's ever been recorded in that field. For now, we'll select uh, corn planting for 2015 and you'll see that our map changes. A few things to note here is uh, the left side is your agronomic data, all your values associated with this field, seeds per acre, uh, total area worked, and total seeds applied. Down below is a timeline, so you can see in April there was a tillage operation, May is when we planted, June is when we probably sprayed, and then our harvest was uh, down here in October. Another thing to note in uh, the top here is the layers. So each operation has several layers associated with it. So right now we're looking at the as applied map. If we wanted to look at the planned rate, which is also called a prescription, we could see that there was some sort of a prescription for this field. And maybe it was a test plot by the looks of it. Another thing at the top, right now we're looking at the overview. If we wanted to do a compare, a side by side, it'll give us two maps. So we could compare this prescription to maybe the harvest map for that year and see if it, if it made a difference and it doesn't really look like it did. Uh, the last option is difference. So the difference is going to give you the average of all of your harvest. So we're looking at all of the corn harvest that we have in this field. The second map is the corn harvest from the most recent year and the third map is your difference. So the difference is going to show you everything in green being above average, everything in red is below average, and then everything in white is that 5% window that is average. We'll jump back to overview. And the next thing I want to look at is field analyzer beta, which is this yellow text right here is a link to it. And the reason it's called beta is because it's still in development. Uh, there's still some things that are going to change, um, but there are some new features that are in this that are not in the normal field analyzer. So when we click on that, it's going to take us again to the most recent operation, and we'll go ahead and select, um, we'll go down to 2015 as we were before, and we'll look at corn harvest. So once that loads, You'll see your layers. There's actually a few more layers that you can look at in Field Analyzer Beta. We can look at elevation, fuel rate, uh, and then we can even look at uh, what varieties were harvested. Down below, you'll see your agronomic data is down here now instead of over on the side. And we can actually click and drag this to make it smaller so we can get a better view of the map. On Field Analyzer Beta, this legend is editable, which is not in the regular Field Analyzer. We can also adjust our contour, and we can also adjust the transparency of the field. So if we wanted to see you know, a little bit of what was behind that field, maybe see the ditch that's running through this field and see if maybe the yield uh, changed through that ditch, we can do that. Um, another thing we can do in beta that we can't do in the regular field analyzer is a second operation. Uh, we can do a compare like we could before, but we did not have the soil map option in the regular field analyzer as we do in beta. So we'll give this a second to load and see what it looks like. First thing to note is down at the bottom in your data analysis, it's going to show you every soil type that's in that field and how each soil type did during the yield. So it looks like uh, this one here was definitely not as good as, as the ones down here. Um, We'll go ahead and drag that out of the way and we'll switch our view to number one, we'll look at the compare. So we can see a side by side of all the field, all the soil types and the yield. But if we change this to overlay, 
it'll put the two maps on top of each other and then we can adjust the transparency of each uh, to be able to see if there was any uh, correlation between soil type and, and yield. So I'll jump back into overview and I'm going to change this um, bottom operation just to the same thing so we're looking at the same map. One other thing that we've been asking for for a while up here at the top is the selection tool so we can select different shapes and we can actually select a certain part of the field and see how it did in comparison to the rest of the field. Once that loads, we'll drag this uh, bottom part up again and the agronomic data you'll see has changed. We have a selected portion and then a full operation. So everything below the selected part is going to be uh, exactly what we selected. So it looks like we selected almost six acres compared to the almost 180 acres of that field and it looks like that six acres did yield a little better than the rest of the field. So just another tool you can use to, to better break down and analyze what you've got going on in your field. We'll go ahead and clear that and one last thing I want to show is the export button up here in the top right. If we click that it's going to create a PDF which I'll select down here in the bottom left and it makes a nice PDF that you can either print or you can email to whoever you need to um, showing your map and all of your data. It even shows when you started and ended your work in that field, who the operator was, uh, and then again, your map down below.